Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm super excited to be part of the blog hop of the new release by Alte New. Lots of wonderful products, make sure to join the blog hop for many giveaways and uh, lots of inspiration. And today I'm going to focus on my favorite stamp set from this release. It's a layering stamp set, it's called Bird of the Woods. You get the bird, the layers, as well as a couple of branches and lots of sentiments to play with. And I absolutely love the size of it. Just because it is quite big, it makes a good focal point. It really makes a statement on the front of a card, but just because it is so big, I can use it on my art journal uh, projects. So I'm stamping the first layer, which is just the outline. And then it gives you many different layers that you can play with, with different colors of ink. You can go crazy with the different layers and make it look like a parrot if you want. You can uh, go like me, monochromatic. I'm just using shades of uh, red for my birdie today. But uh, really, the sky is the limit with this bird and you can make it your own. Now, some of the layers do ink up and color in the feet. However, I didn't add ink on this part at all. You can see here I'm just avoiding the feet. And I do that just because this is a very intricate area, it's so tiny, and if I don't layer something perfectly, it's going to show too much on the feet. So just avoid this area and you will see what I'm going to do later on. I just uh, like to do layering because it is quick. If I fast too much with trying for the perfect um, alignment, it would take me forever, so I don't bother with details like that. The four colors of red that I used are from the Red Sunset ink set and you will find it linked down below. There is also a little pig that I'm going to stamp with black and then I'm just going to grab a marker and with the fine tip I'm going to color in the feet with brown. I believe this is uh, espresso. Then I need a branch for my birdie. I'm going to turn my paper around and there are a couple of branches. One of them doesn't have leaves, the other one does. So you can use different branches and create a card for every season. Also, instead of using just the leaves, you can add tiny little flowers from your stash to embellish it even more. And that's why I believe this is a very versatile stamp set that you can use all year round. Now again here, instead of using the layer for coloring in the branch, I'm just going with my markers. I find it easier. It would be quite difficult for me to align the um, layer exactly on top. So I'm just going with my markers. I'm also going to add some shading with a darker marker. And I find that there is something about birds that makes them perfect for pretty much any occasion. So you can even have a speech bubble and have your uh, little birdie say happy birthday. You can do some mirror stamping and have two identical birdies look at each other for an anniversary or a wedding card. You can add an egg for a newborn card. So many different ideas. So now I'm creating a background for my bird and I'm going for a winter scene, for a winter card. I'm using uh, one, I used one of the dies from the mix and match frames to cut out this white panel and I'm inking it up with a couple of shades of blue. I'm not going for the perfect blending here, I like to have some splotches. It looks more like a sky if you don't have a completely perfect and super smooth blending. By the way, this mix and match frames die set is from the previous collection and it is becoming one of my favorites. It's on my craft table all the time and I keep on using it on my cards. You will see lots of cards using these dies. Now this is pure white Altenew spray. I'm just going to add a few splashes here and there. They are going to work as snow at the background. And now it's time to assemble my card. I have an A2 panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half. On top, I'm sticking my bluish panel and I'm keeping the darker uh, shade at the top. And now I'm going to stick down the branch. For the branch, I'm going completely flat. So I'm going to stick it with glue. But on one side, I do have a tiny little piece of foam tape so that it is nicely leveled with the rest of the layers. Now, behind the feet I'm adding glue since I want them to be completely flat on top of the branch, but at the top I did add some foam tape to give a little bit of dimension on my bird. And since I'm going for a winter card, I'm going to add some embellishments 
on the brand, I'm going to add some red gems, which are going to work as red berries, and they are going to give a more festive look on my card. Switch it up, you can add white or uh, red gems to have a holy berry or a mistletoe. Or add leaves and flowers for a completely different look and season. So here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. This is part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the details on how you can enter the giveaways. There is a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you all next time.